and welcome to Ethics for Everyone. I'm Jeff Havens, well aware of the fact that somebody is probably forcing you to watch this. My condolences. Interestingly, nobody's forcing me to film this. Which one is sadder? I don't really know. Anyway, it's my job to tell you why you should be ethical. And since you probably assume this is going to be boring, I figured I'd start with the most boring reason, because it's the right thing to do. You've heard that your whole life, and it's always made you roll your eyes and feel like you were being lectured to, but I don't want to lecture you because then I'll start to irritate myself. So instead, I want to discuss the Revolutionary War. I promise I'm going somewhere, so just stay with me. In colonial times, the British basically did whatever they wanted to the colonists. They levied taxes whenever they wanted, searched their homes whenever they wanted, imprisoned people whenever they wanted. And the colonists decided that maybe life would be a little better if they could decide their own future. And you know what happened? Of course you know what happened. Unless you dropped out of school after the second grade, the Revolutionary War, that's why there's an America. And then we decided that maybe slavery was bad, so we abolished it. And then we decided that maybe women should be able to vote, so we passed the 19th Amendment. And then we decided that maybe discrimination was bad, so we passed the Civil Rights Act. Those things weren't easy. There were a lot of arguing, petitions, riots, and a war before we settled on the right course. We aren't perfect at it by any means, and we're not done either. My point is that the entire arc of American history is a movement toward more and more ethical behavior, toward more and more groups of people. Now, as these examples illustrate, doing the right thing is often extremely difficult, but that doesn't stop it from being the right thing to do. And if that's not enough for you, it turns out that doing the right thing is also profitable. Every year, Just Capital measures the ethical quality of American companies. They look at things like pay, worker treatment, environmental performance, and other boring things like that. Then they use that data to determine the 100 most ethical companies out of the 897 largest publicly traded companies in the United States. And you know what? On average, those 100 companies generate 3.5% higher five-year returns on invested capital and have eight times fewer consumer-related fines than their competition, all while paying a higher percentage of their workers a living wage and donating a higher percentage of their profits to charity. Look at that! Doing the right thing is good for business. Who knew? So there you go. I hope I have inspired you to find your best self and let it shine forth like a beacon that will light the way in the darkness. But I know that it's possible that you don't really care about being noble and good. And you know what? That's fine, because I have other videos and someone's gonna make you watch those too. So buckle up, we've got a lot of time together.